welcome to Day in the Bay. This is a series where we work on some cool cars, talk to their owners, and share you detailing tips along the way. Today, we're gonna to be talking about off-road scratches. Yes, those unfortunate mishaps with tree branches or bushes when you're out there on the trail or who knows what. What we do know is they're not good for your paint. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to talk through you know, how these happen, how we can remove them. We're gonna show you how you can remove these off-road scratches. And then maybe when you should not remove the scratches. Our project vehicle today is this awesome Ford Bronco. It's owned by our buddy James. He's a local enthusiast and he uses his truck a lot off-road here in Southern California. Every weekend, he's out there hitting up another spot. Recently, he picked up some of these off-road scratches, so we're gonna check them out and help him remove these and, and, and share with you along the way how we can do that. All right, so before we rinse the entire truck, we're gonna focus on the wheels and tires first. Get those clean, the wheel wells. You know, that way we don't have to worry about keeping the whole truck wet the whole time as we're working on the wheels. So take care of those first and then move to the rest of the truck. Okay, so we got the truck pre-rinsed with a pressure washer. We're gonna go ahead and use a foam gun to just add some extra lubricity during the wash process. We're still gonna use a traditional two bucket wash method. We got it, our soap mixed up over there. We're just gonna add this in to add a little bit more extra lubricity. We, we got our gold class mixed up and we're, we're ready to pump. So I don't have to ask why a Bronco, because that's what you guys had when you first got married. Right. But why a Bronco of this vintage and not like, you know, one of the really early old school ones? Well, uh, the reason we wanted a Bronco of this size is because actually if you take the back seat out, you could fit a full mattress in the back. And if you and so we could we could camp in it. We take three yellow containers and all our camping fits inside that. We take it out, we sit up two chairs, we roll out our mattress and it's set up. We have a an awning that comes out over the back, and we could drive as long as we want through the desert or the mountains. And when we get tired, we stop, we set up camp wherever we're at. Well, this one, what, the way I go about building an off-road truck to take my wife out, I want to make sure I could get back. Well, yeah. Right? So a lot of times <laughs> when you're younger and aggressive, you break your truck and your friends tow you back out. But I wanted to make sure that I made it reliable enough to get back. So first I went through the entire drivetrain. We've replaced the motor, the transmission, rebuilt both axles, replaced all the electronics, the brains in the car. I mentioned before, it's a really good looking truck. Thank you. Uh, the, the color combination, it's it's muted. You got that, and you would said it was an opal, right? Yeah, Ford right. Opal, it's a factory color. My wife, very particular on the Bronco we bought, she, and she saw that one, she loved the color, so I went and negotiated and bought that one. It's having a really classy, elegant Thank look you. to it. Thank you. But then you go and you get it, you don't just get it dirty. Dirty's fine. But then you're like scraping it through the trees and the shrubbery yep. while it's dirty. Yeah. You know, you're not supposed to touch a vehicle when it's dirty, right? <laughs> right. But that's what this was designed for. It's designed it to get the out. heck out of the paint. Yeah, it does. But you know, part of the therapy of going off road is coming back home and, and cleaning the car and prepping it and uh, getting the paint ready and going over every nut and bolt again. That's for me, that's part of the enjoyment. But, so you're driving. Talk to me about detailing because when you come back from this, washing is easy. Yeah, that's the easy. But part. what else you got going on here? Uh, so I spent typically five to eight hours, depending where I went off-roading, on the truck once I get back. Do you worry about getting rid of every swirl mark in the paint, making it flawless? No. Okay. No, I, I, a lot of people accused me of that once I had it painted, so I, I went out and did a really rough trail right after the paint cured. I waited, you know, six weeks, and I took it out okay. to show people, like, you know what, this is going to be used. And I, I got out 95% of it. You know, and I think, I think that's fair, and I think that's actually a smart way to go, because you, you're, you're going to go back out and, and damage the paint. Again, that sounds terrible, but you're going. Because right. that's part of the enjoyment of the vehicle, is getting it out there in the rough. Um, and we get people to sometimes stress about making their paint perfect all the time. 
but the, those deeper marks, sometimes you have to live with them. And I, I, I'm thinking you take them almost as a mark of honor. Absolutely. I, I love seeing other rigs on the road that have trail scars. It looks great to me. I, that's the guy who actually uses the vehicle. I see enough really nice high dollar off-road vehicles that don't have a scratch on them. And it kind of makes me sad because I think that owner is missing some of the great experiences of having. Have you ever taken a cruise show? Cars and coffees. Okay. And, you know, I, you know, I'll ship to a cars and coffee with it, you know, because okay. I'm meeting some friends with their cars there. And it, it, it's kind of funny. It actually gets pretty good attention because it's it's so foreign to what you usually see at a cars and coffee. And I love parking it next to, you know, a Ferrari or something like that. Sure. And, it, and you know, I can't even see the car when I when I'm, I can use it as a step to get out of my car. You know, but it's that's kind of fun. Yeah, let's let's go out and see what's going on. Absolutely, look, looking forward to it. Ultimate Compound on a red foam cutting disc is working great to remove the scratches on this particular truck. If you're trying this at home and you need a more aggressive combination, a good next step up from what we're using here is our DA microfiber correction compound paired with our DA microfiber cutting disc. These two together, when used correctly, you can actually get rotary light cut, but still with the safety and easy use of a DA machine. Well, I gotta tell you, James, after working on this all day, I know I can't get over how cool the truck is. I mean, these things are, it's, they're just awesome. It was fun to work on. Uh, scratches came out pretty well. The rest Amazing. of the paint cleaned up pretty good. Did you learn a couple of things? Yeah, you taught me a you, ton today. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've been working on cars for a long time. You've been, you've been detailing doing Detailing cars, time, yeah. and you taught me a lot about um, different products to use, how to properly use a, a butt wrapper. I've been using one forever. You taught me how to use it correctly, which is kind of You're embarrassing. Doing it wrong all this time? Forever, forever. Yeah. I was doing a little bit wrong. So hey, there you go. Hey, we hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, make sure to shoot us a comment or even give us a call. And we'll see you on the next day in the base. So see ya.